This is Tara. Today I am working on the Get In Shape YouTube Hop. I will have a list of people participating down below for you so that you can check out everybody who's playing along in this hops. Many of my friends are doing that. This is also going to be for Baby Got Scraps and um, I'll have a list of creators participating in that as well and you might find that there are several of us who are combining these hops and so there might be several of us with videos for both and so I'm going to go ahead and get started with what I have. First I pulled a piece of the Vicky Booten pre-made beautiful backgrounds. This one came from her Let's Wander pad and then I have some Paper Studio um, floral pieces, a photo of my feet. Hey guys, not in snow this time. Um, we are doing triangles this week, and so I have some triangles and some paper, um, some bits and pieces from a counterfeit kit. That's where the triangles came from. That's where the titles came from. And then these papers are all scraps. I realize that this one here is just a tiny piece has been cut out of it, but it's technically a scrap, right? It's not a full 12 by 12. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with this layout. I'm going to pause and when I come back, I will have this sped up and you can watch me complete this layout. I'll be right back. So this is a layout that in the very beginning, I kind of knew where I wanted to go with it. I did bring in some sequins because um, Scrap and Harden and I were talking about the many sequins that I have and why I have so many. So I pulled in some black sequins that I'll use later. And I also grabbed a mint green doily. I bought a humongous stack of colored doilies, and then I don't think I've used a single one. Anyway, and for a while I was using them, you know, religiously, but I'm just something that got set aside, and now I think that I probably should start playing with them again. Anyway, so I'm going to mat this photo three times. It is a three by four photo, and so the first mat I cut three and a quarter by four and a quarter. The second one is three and a half by four and a half, and the third one is three and three quarters by four and three quarters. And I'm going to use my Tim Holtz Distress tool that I got from my friend Kimberly over at I'd Rather Be Scrapbooking. Um, I use it all the time. Her lost my game as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> anyway, I am going to um, lightly um, scuff the edges up of my photo. And again, I, I know this freaks people out. This is a photo that if I mess it up, I can reprint as many times as I would like. But I am exposing the white core just a little bit to give it a little bit of a um, differentiation from my pattern papers. And then I'm going to scuff up all three mats and I'm going to go ahead and mat that photo right here on camera. That is not something that I normally do. And so, yay, you get to watch me mat a photo. Um, I know you all know how to mat photos. I just, I don't know why I left this in. I did. So I'm going to go ahead and mat it. And um, I'll mat each, I'll scuff and mat each layer as we go. Um, I don't always mat my photos multiple times. So it's kind of nice to do it once in a while. And the reason why I chose it to do it chose to do it this time is because I really wanted to use this background and I really wanted to use that gorgeous plaid paper plus I wanted to use those floral bits so I was kind of trying to bring in all of the colors at the same time. I could have gotten away with just matting it once with this plaid but I also really want to use up some of these scraps. I have my leftover counter kit um, 
kits in an iris box and I need to empty it because I need to fill it with my February kit because you know February is coming up really quick and we already know which kit we're counterfeiting and I need to get busy so I need to empty this because I haven't used all of my January kit either so I need to do this or use all my something I need to do something guys um, anyway, I know I'm silly. So I'm taking this, um, I think this is a six by 12 piece of pattern paper. And I'm going to admit when I first got this piece of pattern paper, I'm like, this paper hurts my eyeballs with all those stripes going all different ways. But when I took it apart and I, I used it one other time and I'm pretty sure I cut a triangle out of it. And that's why there is two smaller pieces um, that I put off to the side, um, and I will be using those as well, or one of those as well. So now, um, when I did it this way, I, it no longer makes my eyes go cross-eyed. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and use my Omnigrid ruler to kind of get my points as straight as possible. It may or may not be perfect. And to be honest with you, I'm not worried about perfection. I just want to get it close. So I'm going to use my Omnigrid um, ruler to just kind of line those up. And then I'm going to reposition it a little bit to make sure it's straight. Um, I'm going to add this fun foam to the back of my matted photo. And if you will remember at the beginning of the month for the first get in shape hop, which was circles, I took a picture that I had of my feet, my bare feet in the snow. And so this is just a picture of my bare feet in the river where we had taken our granddaughter to go play to run off some of that boundless energy she has. So next up, I'm going to go ahead and put this doily. Now I'm going to use it in the center of this top circle and I'm going to let it overhang over the top and then I'm going to trim off that top piece because the that piece is going to end up on the bottom. And I knew when I flipped that over, I was going to lose my photo. No biggie. I just put it back on there. It'll dry on there and spilled those sequins. I think I did that four times while I was recording this video, but I think it was the only time I did it in camera. The others were off to the side where you couldn't see it. That's fine. I will use several of those and then put them back in that little triangle. So I pulled in these two um, little labels. These are from a Tracy Reed collection that I got for free for joining her newsletter. And at the time I purchased it, I did not have a 12 by 12 printer. I do now, but I did print all of the embellishments and I believe I used my Cameo to cut them all out. And um, that way I can go back in later and cut more out if I want. And of course now I can actually print the paper 12 by 12. Currently they are about eight by eight because I used eight and a half by 11 um, white cardstock to print it on and that'll work. I like that size too, but I do really prefer um, 12 by 12 when I purchase pattern paper. So anyway, I am going to be tucking some of these floral pieces underneath that triangle and then I'm going to go ahead and layer up some more. Um, right now I'm kind of deciding which flower I want to lay here and I think I like that one. I'm going to dig through here for a little bit and maybe I'll go ahead and pull a different one out. Oh, maybe not. Nope, I'm going to go ahead and cut out this flower. So mostly I'm just going to do some tucking here and there with these. Um, there's actually stickers, but the first time I purchased them, I found it very difficult to take the backing off of them without bending them. And then I didn't like the look of the bend. So because they're so hard to get the backing off, I just glue them on and I kind of enjoy the thickness of them. It's almost like playing with a, a chipboard. So I'm trying to decide which floral piece that I would like to go in my top doily. And I think I've settled on that one. And then I'm going to finish adding a few more of these black sequins. Now, a long time ago when I 
um, subscribed to Studio Calico Kits, they always gave you a little bag of sequins, and I didn't really know what to do with them back then, so I just dumped every single packet of sequins in a glass jar. They are all mixed up, and it makes me crazy now. All right, this layout is completely finished. I did pull in some of my many sequins that I have in my stash. Um, I have a ton because I was on a design team for Buttons Galore and More in 2020 through 2021, and they sent oh gazillions of uh, their product to you every quarter. I adore all of that product, but it was so much that I still have so many containers of those sequin mixes to play with. These actually, though, were in my stash from beforehand. So I went ahead and used a few of these just to bring out some more of the black from that patterned paper. You saw that I added some foam adhesive here. I didn't really add any foam adhesive with these other layers simply because these are stickers but they're hard to take the backing off so it makes them very thick and as you can see you can definitely see layers since they're so thick these came from hobby lobby i really like them um, they have others they have like zoo animals and stuff too but i only purchased the flowers so this is kind of a nod to my first video for the Get in Shape Challenge where we used circles and I had a picture of my feet in the snow. So this time my feet are barefoot in the water and it's in July, so it's not cold. <laughs> anyway, I tend to take photos like that every single um, time we're out. I'll take pictures. Some Sometimes it's with my shoes on. Like if we're hiking, I don't take my shoes off for that, but... I do kind of do that so that one day I can do, you know, this whole big two -page, page spread of where my feet may wander. And I'll have all of these photos of my feet in different places. Okay, so I want to thank you so much for coming to my um, channel today and watching my video. I really appreciate those of you who take the time to like, comment, and or subscribe that really helps me build my channel so i really appreciate you doing that you guys have a great rest of your sunday bye